everyone. Welcome back to Thoughtful Thursdays. Today's devotion is entitled, Hope Like Adrenaline. It's hard to see. Romans 5, 3, and 4. We also glory in our sufferings because we know that suffering produces perseverance perseverance, character, and character hope. On an early morning run by the lake and through trails in the surrounding woodlands, you first set a slower pace. Your joints are still stiff from the night's rest, and your muscles are just warming up. After a mile, you still can't shake the stubborn drowsiness and lack of desire to push through. This is when perseverance is paramount. You make the decision to kick it up a notch. This determination brings with it fresh winds of energy and you finally catch your stride all your muscles working now you feel in control and as if you could carry on for miles on end eventually you reach your goal and bring your pace down to a jog then a walk heading back to the house you feel your cells buzzing with energy as your brain releases endorphins and they spread throughout your body the mental boost of this chemical brings high hopes for the day ahead. We often meet trails or trials and suffering initially with the mindset that we won't make it. But when we take another step forward, we find new strength and energy to carry us through. Then the unexpected happens. Hope courses through us like adrenaline. It's not a fleeting hope, but a strong one that pulses through our core. If your pace seems like slow going at first, press into your stride and remember the natural high of hope is on the way. God, when I get weary in my run with you, help me press on to get my second win and the result, resultant hope. Amen. <laughs> Well, that jogs up memories for me when I was in the military having to run. My first duty station was in Arizona. Uh, that was my first duty station. I had boot camp in South Carolina. But the humidity and heat for my boot camp. Um, then I went into Indi Indiana for AIT and then uh, Wachuca, Arizona for first duty station and oh my goodness the elevation the heat, dry heat but I pushed through because I was bound and willing to be in the fast group for a certain guy <laughs> sometimes they had to circle back around to get me but I hung okay <laughs> um, and I could hang with the guys in the running my scores weren't too bad but if you have the desire to push through and run the race that God has set forth for all of us to be in his kingdom, to bring his kingdom, like it says, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, which can also be a scary thought because if you think of what God's will is, a lot of times we're not up to that challenge. So we have to pray that we can get there and we need to study with him and be more familiar with him. Let his Holy Spirit come minister to us so we can be all that we need to be for him. That looks kind of like Colorado almost. Maybe a little farther east. I mean west, but um, it's so beautiful today. It feels like fall. It's in the 60s, and um, that pumps up my adrenaline. <laughs> so guess what? I'm going to be cleaning today. I'm going to be doing the fans and everything because that just blesses my heart that it's cooled off finally. And um, I hope that you guys find joy in your journey today and this week and find what blesses you and give God praise for that because it says all good things come from God. So I hope you guys are doing well. Take care. Love you. God bless. Bye.